Hello, how are you guys doing, Council? Um, so my name is Alexandria Stein, and I'm here today to call out transphobia here in Plano. I'm currently being restricted from swimming in the City of Plano Swim League against the women, even though it's clear that I reassigned my gender last week. Like, for example, do I look like a man? Obviously I'm not, this is a woman but they're not gonna let me swim and compete against the ladies because of transphobia. So what I need you guys to do is I need you to wake up. We have champions like Leah Thomas. She's an NCAA champion, the best swimmer in college today. I can't get a scholarship unless I'm able to send a recruiting tape to these colleges. So they say, oh, oh, you have an unfair advantage, Alexandria. What, what looks like, does this look like an unfair advantage to y'all? Does this look like an unfair advantage? There's nothing unfair about this. I mean, look at me. I'm freaking, I'm the same as a girl. But yet, you guys are gonna let transphobia run rampant. Paige, I'm so worried. You're the city attorney. You really gotta stand up and do something because you know, that is gender bias. And I don't like gender bias. I'm on hormone therapy. So my estrogen levels are so high, they're through the roof. But you guys are gonna sit here and you're not gonna take me seriously. You're gonna laugh at me. I'm trying to compete. And yes, I was born a boy. So what, guys? This is 2022. It doesn't matter what you're born. We have Kintaji Brown Jackson even says, she doesn't even know what a woman is. So then I'm a woman. So that's what you guys have to do. If the Supreme Court justice is on my side, then why can't I get the same from the Plano City Council? That's the problem is I come here and I'm still a victim of transphobia. Yet we have champions like my girl Leah, my sister, and she is she gets to win, but I don't. Why not? That's what I'm asking you. Why not? Why can't I swim against the ladies? Why are we having a transphobic world where I just want to compete against the ladies? Why are you saying that I'm not a biological woman? Clearly, I look like a biological woman. I mean, come on. It's been hours tucking this thing in. Give me a break. I should be able to swim. And I'm on so much hormone therapy, I don't even know left or right anymore. So I'm doing this. I don't have an unfair advantage. No way. So I need you guys to stand up. We have a city issue. Rick, and we can actually fix this and let me compete against the ladies. I'm sick of these women. Oh, you're, you're having unfair advantage. Yeah, right. And I'm mentally ill and they won't even let me compete in the Special Olympics. So go figure. Think about that. I can't compete in the Special Olympics and I can't compete against women. What kind of bigotry is that? Are you guys going to let that stand? I wouldn't let that stand. If I were y'all, I would stand up for me because in the future, they're going to write these in the history book and you're going to have to decide, decide what side Plano is on. Were they transphobes? Or were they trans positive? And obviously I'm trans positive. So that's what I want. I want you guys to wake up to what's going on in the world and tell the city of Plano Swim League to let me compete against the ladies. I've been on hormone blockers for nearly two weeks now. And like I said, I'm so messed up from them. I'm probably gonna lose anyway, but I can send that tape to a college and I might get a scholarship, Julie. So don't look at me with your eyes, looking at me all mean. I'm out here trying to change for you. This is women's rights. I'm standing up for women's rights. Thank Time's you. Up. It's Primetime Stein on Instagram if you guys want to learn how to swim against the ladies. Thank you all so much. The city of Plano and this council take the opportunity to hear from our citizens very seriously. We always welcome feedback on how we can make our community better.